again, this is an imp impromptu event here, uh, and uh, we've had a lot of requests about uh, how to read candles within Bookmap. Uh, so, um, or how to read the order flow more specifically, what makes up the candle? And this should really help uh, traders understand how, how to gain an edge here uh, using order flow with, with such a simple analysis here uh, using candlesticks. Uh, so uh, let me know if you have any questions. There's the special events room there. Was it hashtag uh, uh, special events? Uh, and then in there, you can uh, ask your questions. All right, so <clears throat> let's get started. All right, so we'll, we'll start off with the basics here. Uh, take the heat map off, uh, take the volume dots off, uh, and best bid and offer. All right, so we're looking at candlesticks. Okay, so, uh, and let's get rid of the, maybe I'll add cumulative volume delta just for kicks here. Uh, and uh, uh, we'll take a look at that. All right, so here's your candlestick chart. Okay, this is a five minute candlestick chart on the S&P E-mini. We can look at whatever you guys want to look at. Uh, the <clears throat> uh, problem here with candles, candles do a nice job of aggregating data within a period. Uh, the problem is you just can't see what's in that period. You don't have tr the, the transparency here. They're very, very, very opaque. And these candlesticks, it doesn't matter if they're a volume bar, uh, range bar, time bar, um, you know, it could even be um, some sort of point and figure type of rotational bar. It is bar data, and that period shows an aggregation of the data, and you cannot see what's inside of it. That's the problem here. All right, so what is inside it? Well, we look at these and we say, well, there must be buying pressure here, right? Because we can see that uh, although there's some sellers here, some sellers here, these wicks are showing buyers. Right, because uh, we came back up higher and we actually went above this little range here and it uh, looks like we're trying to maybe test up into this range here okay because we are <clears throat> well it's back and forth in here but uh, we do see the test up here and uh, maybe we can get back up there if we get more buyers all right so based on the candlestick analysis here uh, there's sellers here on this five minute candlestick chart so it's kind of it's kind of range bound uh, and we're just assuming that there are buyers down here all right and uh, that's kind of the uh, the issue we know what this is open high low and close of, the, of a period of in this case the five minute period uh, and now let's read what's inside it so we're going to add the best bid and offer and that shows pure price action right so uh, now we understand that there's little areas in between already in between the candlestick periods okay here's a double bottom okay on a very small time frame and it it worked out it played out it came back up to test where it came from here uh, and then uh, uh, we see we drop back down. We have a mini head and shoulders in here. You just can't see that within the candlestick pattern. All right, so uh, anyway, that's the advantage of looking at best bid and offer. And that's not what we're here for, though. We're here to read the uh, order flow within it. So now when we add the volume dots here, now we're, now we're you know, getting some, some traction. Okay, what was the condition of the transactions within that period? So we assumed that due to this buying pressure in here, there must be buyers, there must be green dots. And you can see them in here, right? Now we can see the details though. This is where it, you're gonna start to gain an edge uh, by reading the order flow. This cluster in here is showing us something. First off, it's above the swings here, two swings. Uh, we know that there's buying pressure in here because we can see the buyers lift this back up to this swing. Okay, now you also know that you had buying pressure here buying pressure here and that this candle was developing uh, you see a cluster of buying here this is very simple stuff we'd be a look we'd be looking for buyers to at least come up and and test here uh, very simple because this we, we can see we know there's pressure and we see there's more buyers here so we would be looking for a test up into this area now it did that and then some Okay, came up a little bit higher here. All right, so, uh, <clears throat> uh, and then we found some sellers. We had pressure on the wick here. Uh, and then it's really back and forth. There's sellers here, there's there's some buyers here. So, you know, it's kind of kind of interesting. Uh, and now let's take a look at the current market. All right, we're getting buyers back up here. Looking for buyers to lift it back up to here, 57. Okay, just that right now. Now I know this is a five minute candlestick chart. Uh, and uh, uh, we haven't done too much analysis here, but just based on the candles and what we're reading and based on the volume cluster here, and then we're starting to see some volume here transact. 
Okay, so we're looking for buyers here. We're looking for green dots. There they are. Now they should be able to lift it. Okay, just to 57 because that's where the previous sellers were up here. All right, so we'd be looking for that to unfold here. Now we don't know the other side of the trade here. Uh, and then that that's kind of an issue. Uh, what if they're trading into high liquidity here? And this is where you're going to be able to read this within Bookmap. Now we're really getting the full picture here using candlestick analysis, and we can see that uh, uh, well they're pulling that liquidity here. It's not trading into very high liquidity, right? And they are on the bit at these uh, higher levels in here. Now we want to see them up here in these levels. Uh, that would be better. Uh, and then that would look, we'd look for even a quicker, maybe a stronger move up into 57. Okay, now you can see we just traded up into 57. In fact, 104 contracts traded up there. Let's see if we can continue. We're going to read the, the order flow here by the buyers. We we're just looking for that, right, from down here on up to, to, to 57. And uh, let's just zoom in here and verify our transactions into 57. Here they are right here okay so we only had 21 contracts there uh, but that was the target all right so <clears throat> um, any questions on this okay now we're getting more buying pressure look at the bid here see how the bid is starting to like push this the reaction to and it's not a whole lot but the bid is stronger here right we saw this kind of bump up here and we're finding some buyers here so let's see if we can continue here. We're, we're, we're getting a, 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 it's kind of a trap here, um, or at least it's trading back into the range at the moment here. But, you know, we're still going with the overall flow. Okay, we're up here. Uh, we're, we're, still, we're still auctioning up here. We're still seeing transactions up here. All right, so uh, uh, anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to cover here. Uh, and, and start to understand the um, uh, what's in the candles. And we can look at the different, um, you know, directly what's in between the, here as well, uh, you know, between this five minute period. Uh, and we can, uh, you know, start to read and ascertain like a volume profile, for example. If you want to look at a volume profile and mix that into the picture, here, click on this uh, uh, zoom by drag tool, click, drag and release between these two periods. Here's our profile, right? So although we, we looked for that move up into 57 and we got it, our profile is, it's not, you know, it shows the transactions up here at 56 and a half, which is pretty good. And we also have some here, uh, but most of it traded back down in here, right? So, and, and, and the, this, the, the, um, uh, the move here, was uh, was 57 in uh, on a kind of shorter time frame getting maybe a pullback to and let's do that again here that zoom getting a pullback to maybe in here 55 down to uh, 54 and a quarter wouldn't be out of the question uh, we'd be maybe looking for something like that and then looking for the bid to support it and then more buyers to start to come in right so let's uh, Let's zoom out now and let's take a look. Where did that pullback go to? Boy, that was it, 55 and a half. Uh, and we continued on up here. Um, so uh, yeah, not much of a pullback on that. That's, that's good. I mean, it's still showing the buying pressure in here. Uh, and now we're up at uh, about uh, 57 and three quarters. Let's see if we can trade into 58 here. See them pulling here? Okay. Now we just need a few buyers in here and a bit on the bit. There we go. Beautiful. And there's going to be a nice stop run as well. Okay. And there's a nice move up into 59. All right. Maybe look, maybe we can get to 60 now too. So anyway, that's smaller time frame, and we're doing that on purpose here just so um, uh, you should be able to see my stream. Okay, Greg, I, I, don't, I don't know what, uh, what the issue is. There's our move to 60, guys. Um, so <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, I wanted to cover this um, example in, in with you know, real-time um, analysis uh, so that we can't fake it. You know, we're doing the reading. It might not work out. 
it might totally fail but we got to go with the reading of the order flow here uh, and and this is what we're looking for this is what we saw in the candles uh, that helped us down here and then we just it was the volume clusters in here that really made a big difference okay and then we put in the heat map as well okay understanding wow they're bidding up here they're bidding up in here uh, we saw them starting to pull here it's kind of dark in here we don't like that um, but we're still looking for our 57 uh, and then we we still got to go with it uh, and then we started to see a little more support on the on the bid here still finding buyers so we're still looking to go higher all right so some very very simple things here to read a candle uh, put the pieces together uh, and then look for follow through in the move now just because this is a smaller time frame doesn't mean this can't work on higher time frames at all in fact we went through the webinar the other day uh, we we were looking at the daily the hourly and the 15 minute chart and uh, we covered uh, the same analysis in here uh, but then we zoom in and look at the order flow within bookmap so much higher time frame this is exactly what we're looking for on the on the daily we're looking for a move uh, but we know there's sellers up here because we can we know there's wicks and we know there was selling pressure that really drove this market lower we come back up here we're starting to look for uh, we 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 made this uh, drew this line in here around 60 uh, on Monday and we were looking for a pull or a, a move up into it but we were anticipating some sellers up here too some profit taking and some sellers on the daily that happened in a couple of days here here's Monday here's Tuesday here's Wednesday here's today okay so we got up there I'm now I'm looking to see if we can uh, if we still maybe see a bit more buying pressure and we are on the hourly uh, but uh, I, I'm gonna start to look for also um, uh, getting above some of these wicks here and then look for some sellers okay and then maybe a pullback again uh, on this daily so uh, then we just go into book map and we look at the order flow to support that just like we did on this five minute candle guys that was it it's just a quick you know 15 minute covering of the candlesticks and how to read them if you have any questions uh, hit me up now uh, in the